Hello everyone, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. The old car is getting the Timo T done today, so I thought I'd sit down outside. Nice little van going past, that'll be good, loads of noise. <laughs> Hopefully not, should be fine. A little test run before, it was fine. Now there's loads of traffic, great, and loads of people, fantastic. But the MOT is getting done in the car, so let's waste some time. Well, that's probably going to come back with a nice hefty bill and talk about loads of Newcastle United news today, to be fair. Before 9, 10 a.m., the club have released loads of information on a few different topics. We've had the queues for the memberships as well this morning. There is a lot to get through. So strap yourselves in, subscribe to the Mike Channel TV if you haven't already, and let's get bang into it. So there's only one place to start then, and that is the fan zone, the sellout park fan zone. Now, here to be that guy where, you know, I say in the know and all that, but tell you what, in the know because i told you this weeks ago i've did videos all summer about this the, the main one was a few weeks back there saying what to expect and it is exactly what i tell you as it would be now i see other people out there trying to say it's gonna be this that and everything skyscrapers boulevards bollocks call it back then i said that's not going to be the crack and listen the club have officially announced it today i'll put things on your screen so you can read about it and see about it as well but everything is essentially what I said it would be, where it's going to be a thriving fan zone on a match day, but also during the week. And it's going to be stack slash box park style. Now, I said box park because obviously box park's brilliant. In London, obviously, I did the Wembley event there for the Carabao Cup final, hosted that. That was fantastic, amazing event. Um, two and a half thousand Georges were mental on what was one of the best days ever, albeit the result. Obviously, didn't go our way, didn't get the cup, but the, the venue itself is great. And uh, the atmosphere and everything around it was amazing. And Newcastle are essentially going to create that via the stack so the stack are back obviously stack in newcastle was a an amazing spot for food and drink for people to enjoy their saturday nights but also enjoy just dipping in on a tuesday afternoon and that is essentially what they want to bring back for this newcastle native fans or now you can watch the video that i did a, a, a month ago and then the other ones throughout the summer because I've, i'll go into detail then and i've said what it is listen i'll put things on the screen and i'll tell you know i'll tell you exactly what it is you know it's gonna be two floors a big screen like i said a stage like i said and they're going to be showing the games. Like I said, they're going to be showing the home and away games. Doubt they'll be able to show every game. Like some fans are saying, oh, they'll be having all the games on. Probably going to get uh, against the Premier League rules and regulations, that one. So I don't think it will. But, you know, what they can do, and obviously show the Sky Sports games and BT, well, now TNT Sports games and the other one that is on Amazon. So you'll talk about the Amazon documentary soon as well. That trailer's out. I haven't already mentioned that at the start. That should be the title as well. Ooh, the sunshine. Lovely. I'm in the wrong way, yeah. Should be facing that way for the natural light. No, I'm kind of lost around. So yeah, um, they'll be showing all the televised games. And to be fair, that is most of Newcastle games now. We were on telly nearly every week last season, weren't we? And it's going to be the case this year because we're in the Champions League. Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll be playing Saturday lunchtime, Saturday night time, Sunday afternoon. We've seen that. I think the first five or six Newcastle games this season are televised, and one of them being City away on a Saturday night, like 8 o'clock. So get used to it. So those games will be able to be watched in the Salah slash stack fan zone park so it's great news it's amazing on that strawberry place there this is an initial three-year deal and it's going to be absolutely bouncing i can't wait to see what it's what it's like and when it opens and get a real feel for it and um yeah it's going to be an amazing venue and full of newcastle fans on a match day it's gonna be class but then like i said in the other videos you know during the week they'll have events on they'll have different events on karaoke nights theme nights different acts on different entertainment showing different sports and, and and things that are going on you know so loads of possibilities there for that fan zone loads of things that can get the teeth stuck into and uh, it's looking to be open in november so not long to go it's gonna be great to see the work getting started on that and knocking it up no darren Eels has spoke about it he said that we want this to be a real hot spot for fans and tourists not just newcastle fans but we want people to be using this every day of the week so it's gonna be mint it's gonna bring in a lot of revenue to the area you know it's going to create 150 jobs which is fantastic as well lots of jobs being created through this seller um fans when that's getting knocked up like i said stack are taking care of it they know how to do it their first venue was in newcastle and now they're across the country they know how to create these places shipping containers full of good scran vias in a good time so i'm looking forward to it. it's great news it's going to be brilliant on a match day like i said you know the atmosphere will give more to that buzz around the city and um Really excited for that one opening in November if things continue on the course that they are. Another thing to touch on is the Amazon documentary. Now, we've been waiting for this, haven't we? We've been seeing snippets, we've seen the cameras in and around St. James' Park last season, and uh, the official trailer landed this morning as well, and the club tweeted about it officially. It's all out there now, legit. We've did videos on this Amazon documentary for a year or so now as well. Now it's official, now it's out there, and it looks amazing goosebumps watching this one it looks absolutely class i cannot wait for it i'm already loving eddie how more 
more and more by the more and more clips that get released, more and more and more. You know what I mean? Because the, the, it starts off with him seeing the 77 days to the end of the season. You can just feel his, his passion, his intelligence, and everything coming through him and the behind the scenes access we're going to get is, is, is amazing you you see Trippy out with his kids on there you see Wilson at his old school on there we're going to see a lot more there is one episode released every Friday for four weeks so every Friday in August until September I think it's Friday August 11th the first episode comes out on Amazon Prime obviously it's like nine quid a month for that and then every following Friday for four weeks you will release a new hour long episode so buzzing for that can't wait to really get behind the scenes at Newcastle United, see how I rise, see that you know, they're there for the Wembley trip, they're there for, for everything, for all of it, for all of last season, so it's going to be amazing access in that documentary and it looks spectacular, I cannot wait for that to come out, so let us know what you think of the Amazon documentary trailer as well, and lastly, let's talk about the memberships then, did a video yesterday about the Mbappe situation and of course the memberships that are causing upset and anger amongst the fan base those were released this morning at 10 a.m to wait in line and buy Forty thousand people were, were in the fan were in the queue for that one i heard um keg was forty thousandth in the queue i was like eighteen thousand. Um, and then you've seen reports on twitter saying there was over one hundred thousand people in a queue for to become a member which is uncapped by the way and that's where the outrage comes it's uncapped so it's a ballot next season you enter the ballot you could be coming up against a hundred thousand people for a ticket Good luck. Um, but yeah, I managed to get mine. I waited an hour and a half in the queue. Like I said, I was like 18,000th or something. That's a nice background there for you. And, uh, you know, I got in there. And when it came up, this is what came up on the screen. I didn't panic. I expected something like this to happen. Yes, last season it was happening, errors and stuff. Don't panic either. Don't exit off. Don't refresh. Just click the three lines in the top right corner. Click back on memberships. And then it should take you to it to be able to purchase it. So... Hopefully that works for you like it works for me, but the memberships are now out. Um, I've seen more people obviously complain on Twitter about the website crashing, about the queues. I can't sit in this for two hours and everything else. But said it before, say it again, get used to it. <laughs> you know, get used to it because the supply far outweighs the demand at the moment. And what else can we do? You know, it's, it's going to be potluck for tickets in the ballot next year. And it's going to be potluck for a few years because this strawberry place land, obviously the owners have talked about extending the Gallagher's extending St James's Park. Obviously, we're looking at the East Stand now as well. Maybe that will come first now ahead of the Gallagher because the three-year deal is there for the Seller Stack Fan Zone. So that's going to be there for the next few years. The stadium needs increased as soon as possible. So hopefully we can get that underway as well because you've seen the demand for these memberships for tickets. It's nuts. It's absolutely bonkers. So yeah, that's a quick little update for you here on this Wednesday lunchtime. The documentary is out August the 11th. The fan zone is being put up now. The permission has been accepted. It's getting the process is getting done. So that they're hoping that that's going to open in November. And uh, yeah, the last thing to talk about was the memberships, which we just did there. Also, quickly transfer news: Jamal Lewis is on the verge of joining Watford on loan. Jamal Lewis to Watford on loan. Both deals are being explored apparently, loan and permanent. But it's looking like a loan for Lewis. Cheers for watching, everyone. Drop your comments below about everything I've covered in this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.